ഹായ് ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ഹാപ്പി ന്യൂ ഇയർ ഇന്ന് നമ്മൾ പഠിക്കുന്നത് നമ്മുടെ ഫസ്റ്റ് മോഡ്യൂളിന്റെ ലാസ്റ്റ് പാർട്ടായ റൈസ് ലമ്മയാണ് സി ദിസ് ഈസ് എ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ് ഫോർ റൈസ് ലമ്മ ലെറ്റ് വൈ ആൻഡ് ഡിസെപ്റ്റ് ബി സബ് സ്പേസസ് ഓഫ് എ നോംഡ് സ്പേസ് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ എക്സ് ആൻഡ് സപ്പോസ് ദാറ്റ് വൈ ഈസ് ക്ലോസ്ഡ് ആൻഡ് ഈസ് എ പ്രോപ്പർ സബ്സെറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇസെറ്റ് വൈ ആൻഡ് ഡിസെപ്റ്റ് ആർ സബ് സ്പേസസ് ഓഫ് എ നോംഡ് സ്പേസ് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ എക്സ് So this is capital X. Y is a closed set and is a proper subset of his set. So this is Y. Y is a proper subset of his set. So Y is a proper subset of his set. X is an armed space. then the lemma says for every real number theta in the interval 0 1 there is an iset belongs to capital iset such that norm of iset is equal to 1 and norm of iset minus y greater than or equal to theta for all y belongs to capital y so given that y is closed so so what so no point outside y can be a limit point of y it is given that y is closed so no point outside y so no point outside y can be a limit point now it is given that y is a proper subset of iset therefore there exists a v belongs to iset which does not belongs to y so you take a v belongs to is at minus y therefore by our previous observation v is not a limit point of y and the other one v center aki kondulla edo oru cheriya open ball il y le point sunnu illa so there exist an open ball there exist an open ball of radius greater than 0 which do not meet y okay now you find the distance between v and the set to capital y you call it as a so let a be the distance between v and the set to capital y and that is the infimum of all possible distances dvy y belongs to capital y or this is the infimum of the normed space dvy is infimum of norm of v minus y y belongs to capital y and we have already observed that there is an open ball with the center v which do not meet or which do not contain any point of capital y so the, this distance so this is y the so set to y and this is v there is an open ball with the center v and radius greater than 0 which do not meet y therefore the distance between v and y is greater than 0 so this is greater than 0 by our this observation if we call this as observation 1 by 1 okay now we take a theta belongs to open interval 0 1 then a by theta is strictly greater than a because theta belongs to open interval 0 1 and a is the infimum of norm of v minus y y belongs to y so by definition of infimum they are exist therefore by definition of infimum they are exist a y not belongs to capital y such that a less than or equal to norm of v minus y not and a norm of v minus y not that is less than or equal to a by theta because a by theta is greater than a all it has to okay now this v belongs to z v was a member of z z is a vector space y not belongs to capital y and y is a proper subset of z therefore v and y not so y not 
and y not belongs to capital z therefore v minus y not is an element of capital z because it is a vector space now we choose say say we choose is it is equal to c into v minus y not where c is equal to 1 by norm of v minus y not then clearly is it belongs to capital z because a scalar multiple of an element of the vector space belongs to z and norm of z is equal to modulus of c into norm of v minus y not so c is a positive number so modulus of c is positive this quantity itself so this is one norm of v minus y not divided by norm of v minus y not therefore norm of z is equal to 1 now what we want to show is for any y belongs to y no so now we want to show that for any y belongs to capital y norm of z minus y greater than or equal to theta okay so you choose a y belongs to y anyway what is norm of z minus y is equal to norm of z is c into v minus y not minus y c is taken outside see c is 1 by norm v minus y not so this is positive norm in a value c will be modulus of c out so that is c itself because c is positive so c into norm of v minus y not minus c inverse y now this is equal to c norm of v minus say you call this as y1 because y not belongs to capital y y belongs to capital y y is a vector space therefore y not plus c inverse y is an element of capital y we call it as y1 so where y1 is equal to y not plus c inverse y that is an element but we already have a is the infimum of this norm of v minus y therefore this norm this cannot be less than infimum so it is greater than or equal to a a is the infimum of all such norms therefore this norm this is therefore norm of v minus y1 greater than or equal to a therefore norm of z minus y which is equal to c into norm of v minus y1 that is greater than or equal to c into a and this is equal to c into a c is so this is a by 1 minus v minus y not c is 1 by norm of v minus y not and we have already observed that where norm of v minus y not is less than or equal to a by theta here norm of v minus y not is less than or equal to a by theta therefore 1 by norm of v minus y not is greater than or equal to 1 by a by theta so we replace this by this so what we get is so this is greater than or equal to a into see 1 by norm of v minus y not is greater than or equal to 1 by a by theta and this is equal to a and a cancels 1 by 1 by theta this is equal to beta therefore we proved the existence of an z belongs to capital z says that norm z is equal to 1 and norm z minus y greater than or equal to beta for all theta belongs to zero and for all y belongs to capital y hence the raised lemma okay thank you